Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trance channel where we tinker and you learn. Today, we're going to be setting it up so that we could connect a remote desktop connection from Windows to Ubuntu. But we have to do a couple of things first in order to get this to work. If you would like to support the channel, check out my all my links section. There you will find uh, my Patreon, OnlyFans. You could download and check out some of my music, or you could order some of the music too. You can check out my channel. You could send me a donation on Venmo. You could visit the site. At, visit my site. You could send me a donation on Cash App, or you could do it through PayPal. And you could also Snapchat me, Instagram me, or Twitter me. That's it, Tech Teamtronics. All right, without further ado, I would like to get started. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to say sudo apt install xrdp put in my sudo password follow the prompt kick yes All right. Now we're going to have to do a enable start after reboot and run the remote desktop sharing server. How we would do that is we would be like sudo systeemctl enable dash dash now xrdp that's been done all right so the port the now we're gonna have to set it up to um listen to a port so we're gonna open up port 3390 for an incoming traffic so we got it a little bit to type here sudo ufw allow from any to any port thirty three ninety proto tcp that was a mouthful. Uh oh. UFW. I put UDW instead of UFW. So let me go back and fix that. All right. That looks good. IPADDR show. Well, moving forward with that, I'm going to see if I could ping it. All right, that's a good thing. All right. Then the next thing I want to do, but I'm going to edit one of these. But you can also go down here and type remote if you haven't if you don't have one of these and then you would go that and you would say show options and I'm just gonna put in the computer that I'm gonna connect to 192.168 Save as
All right, and we'll save it and see what we have. I don't think that's going to work, but let's go back to our where we were. All right, so what I'm going to do now is some other steps. Let me restart the service and then see what it does. Absolutely nothing. I don't know why they make this so difficult. Uh, try it again. And of course I get the black screen, so we're gonna have to work with that. We're gonna have to figure this out. All right. So I simply had to log out of the other session in order to get into this session. Uh. All right, we're authenticated, we're in. We're good. So we're connected remotely. Pretty neat stuff. I mean, can't beat it. It took a little bit of work. Uh, some of which I don't know what I did. 
but I had to log out of this other session over here in order to get into this session here. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty neat. I, I like it. 